welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a get ready with me but Vogue Beauty Secrets edition. As you can see, I am in my bathroom today and I have recently been obsessed with Vogue Beauty Secrets. I'm watching them all the time just to see like different celebrities takes on their makeup and like their beauty tips and everything. And I was like, I kind of want to do one. This video is basically going to be a get ready with me and just an opportunity for me to talk to you about all of my favorite products. It is completely unsponsored. So everything that I say, all I speak about in this video is literally my full honest opinion. I mean, it is anyway, but I know some people can get a bit iffy sometimes when you do get ready with me. I know you use the sponsored products, but literally every single thing in this video is things that I use on an everyday basis. So yeah, I love all of these products so, so much. I am also going to link all the products down below. I know I always say I'm going to, and I never do, but I actually am. Like I actually promise I'm going to. And also as well, a couple of things. Please ignore the echo. I obviously am in the bathroom. I wanted to do it a bit like Vogue Beauty Secrets. I got myself a cute little robe. And also the lighting in here is very, very iffy. So I'm going to show you guys my makeup at the end of the video in natural lighting. If it looks a bit dodgy, like all the way through, it is the lighting, I promise I actually can do my makeup. But yeah, the lighting in here is just a bit like overlit. It would be really handy if I had a light like straight on my face. So yeah, there are the little disclaimers and I'm just going to get straight on into the video. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of skincare. So I have already washed my face this morning. I use Simple and Clean and Clear. I like to just keep it very simple with my face washing and like my face kind of skincare routine. I don't like to overcomplicate it or anything. And then I'm now gonna go in and use the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. This is literally two pounds and I've used it for honestly years. Like I don't really use many like expensive skincare products. I have an odd couple that I really like, like some from Charlotte Tilbury, which I think are really good. But on a whole, I just prefer to use, I don't know, like drugstore products. I'm gonna let that sink into my skin and I'm just gonna pop on some of the Revolution X Jake Jamie. I'm obsessed with this range, by the way, and Jake is literally one of my bestest friends. I adore him. These are the Watermelon Hydrating Under Eye Patches and you get 60 in here, which is amazing. And I've recently been really obsessed and just getting back into my skincare because I feel like I lost it for a bit and you could definitely tell that by the kind of what my skin looked like. But at the moment, my skin actually isn't bad. I've got like a couple of spots here and a couple of spots here, but I've been using either the Skin Proud Serum or the Glow Hub Acne Serum, and it's really, really helping. So yeah, I've been using those to clear up the spots. I'm just gonna pop these on just for like five minutes uh, before I do my makeup, just to like hydrate underneath my eyes. I'm now gonna wait like five minutes just for these to work and then I can peel them off and start doing my makeup. They feel so good, really, really refreshing. I also use the Primark ones. I recently used them in a Primark 24 hour video that I did. If you wanna watch that, I can leave it linked in the eye and down below. But you've got like 15 or 30 patches for a pound, which is amazing. And they're really, really good as well. I feel like these ones are more hydrating, but those ones are also really good and are literally a pound. So you can't really go wrong. It has been about five minutes. I mean, realistically, you are meant to leave them on longer, but I really should have put these on earlier. I didn't think I was going to be filming this quickly. So I've just used those and now I am going to go on to my makeup. I feel like I use a really even split between like high end and drugstore, but it feels like forever since I've said those words. Like it literally feels like years since I've done a makeup video. This is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer and this is the blurring one because my skin, it's not bad, but like through makeup and stuff, you can definitely still see sometimes my like scarring on my cheek. So I just like to use a blur and primer just to kind of like smooth it out and then the foundation just applies a lot nicer. You also don't need a lot of this at all. I feel like it's not, if you're into hydrating products, this isn't the primer for you. You need the hydrating version because this one is quite, not drying, but obviously just kind of like mattifies your face and like smooths it out. So it's not like hydrating at all. Like as you can see, it doesn't really give you like a glow. It just more like fully preps your skin for like heavy duty foundation. I'm going to use a mixture of two foundations. So I have got the Too Faced Born This Way 24 hour undetectable super long wear foundation. Then I've also got the Huda Beauty one, but I don't know what this is called. But this one is in a darker shade, this one's in a lighter shade. And then to like get my perfect colour, I have to mix them both together. It is very rare that I will use just one foundation. I will always, always mix my foundations. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I just put it in dots and then just use a beauty blender to blend it all out. If anybody knows any really good coverage foundations, let me know. But I just, I don't know, I feel like I can never really get all the qualities that I want in a 
foundation in one product or maybe i just haven't like shopped around enough and haven't tried as many or have enough foundations to try and find one but i always just find for me i do genuinely just prefer mixing them I also realised I should have done this earlier, I should have wet my beauty blender, I recently got a new one because my other one looked like it had been through the wars and it has been to be honest, like I literally had it for years which is disgusting I know but I recently invested in a new one and it is the best thing I've ever done and then I actually went to wet it because a lot of the time I just would forget to wet it, like I don't know it always kind of, this is disgusting but I just use it dry and now I wet it and I realise actually it like wasn't the product that I hated, it was the fact that I was using a dry beauty blender. So I I actually like tried a lot of products that I ended up thinking oh I don't like it but now I've got to retry them again because I probably do like the product it was just my application so a lot of the time it actually is in the way you apply the product like I was saying the lighting in here is not doing me any favors and actually I never do my makeup in the bathroom like I never really do my makeup using like overhead lights so I promise you it actually does look good um, but the lighting in here is not doing me any favours. That is my base pretty much on and as you can see, the coverage is really really good. It just gives me a nice like kind of flawless even base to work with. And now I've got two concealers I'm going to use. I've got the Estee Lauder Double Wear which is amazing and the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer from Laura Mercier. And I like to just pop this underneath my eye in a kind of triangle shape. I am like, um, I was going to say I'm quite tanned at the moment. I'm actually not quite tanned. I'm a little bit tanned. I had fake tan on like two, three days ago, but I'm going on holiday. I think I might actually be on holiday when you guys are seeing this video, potentially. So head over to my Instagram to have a look at my holiday pics. But I don't want to have any fake tan on when I go. So I'm just like letting this wear off and then I'm going to wash it all off and not fake tan and just try and get an actual tan. And again, just taking my beauty blender, I am going to blend all of this out. Now I've done that, I'm going to do my brows. So a lot of people do their brows before they do their skin makeup, which to be honest, I probably should have done. Like, I don't really know why I don't do this. I first of all just get a flat head brush and then with some of the leftover foundation that I poured out, I just line it underneath my brow just to make it a little bit more defined. I'm someone that doesn't really get their brows done as much as like I probably should. I don't really know why. I just find it hard to like find people that I trust. I only really let a couple of people like touch my brows um, and none of them are anywhere near Manchester so I'm just like coping with the real bushy brow look right now but that kind of just like defines them a little bit more and then it looks disgusting I'm very aware of that because this product is very very used but this is the pearls soap so it was about three pounds for four bars and I love the look of the soap brow whether they're in or whether they're not in I just love the look of it so I still use it and then I ordered just a little pack of spoolies from Amazon and I wet the soap and I just run it through my brows I do use a couple of brow products after but this is how I get my brows to kind of like stay up and have that real like so bushy look I am very appreciative of the fact that like this brow look is not for everyone but for me I've never been someone who's good at brows I feel like brows have always been my weak point for me my makeup because I can just never fill them in how I want to fill them in so for me this is just like the easiest way I can do it plus I do actually like the outcome of it this spoolie is snapped in half so it's really small and hard to use but yeah I do love the outcome of it like I think it just looks very I don't know. I don't really like the look of like a full filled in obvious brow. There's a brow that I really like to have actually. I can't explain it but yeah I just I can't execute it so this is how we do them but I actually really like it and it's cheap and it's cheerful. As you can see my brows are all up now all the hairs are brushed and this will just dry and then my brows will literally not move. Like I find this is actually better than a lot of the brow gels I've ever tried. And then brow products I have got the Benefits Cabral here and I am just going to run this through little streaks of my eyebrows just to fill in a couple of sparse areas to be honest like it doesn't really make much of a difference at all but I just feels better knowing that I've put a little bit of product in just to fill it out a little bit saying that actually you know, I think it definitely does make a difference like I feel like since I've done it I've definitely had more compliments on my makeup like the other week I kind of changed my makeup routine up a little bit and I did this with my brows and those people were like oh my god your makeup looks really nice I was thinking oh I think it's the brows I'm just gonna have to come close to the camera for a minute but they are pretty much my brows they're not the best thing in the world but they do and then just gonna run this benefit gimme brow through them as well just to give it that final little 
bit of colour and then I have to get rid of like the blockiness at the front. Contour, I need to add some colour back to this face. So I am going to be using, this is literally one of my favourite products ever. This is the Morphe Totally Tan Face Palette. This is literally my favourite palette ever. In here you get a eye brightener, you get three different shades of bronzer slash contour, two blushes and two highlighters. I only use the contour and the blush. I don't really use the highlighter shades. They're not really very me shades and I do have like an ultimate fave highlighter that I'm going to show you. But yeah, I just mix all three of these shades together. I'm going to pop this on my face. I feel like contouring this lighting is going to look dodgy as hell. Well, I promise it does look nice. Just, just wait until you see the final product. I know I always say this, but I actually cannot remember why I used to not use contour. Like, I used to have this real, real thing against it. I remember I would do my makeup and I'd watch all my friends do their makeup and they'd be contouring. And I was like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? And now, like, I literally cannot imagine not doing it. Also, I know my bronzer technique is disgusting, but we're just gonna go with it. I feel like everyone has their ways of like doing their makeup and this is just mine and what works for me. I'm also really bad at nose contouring. I really wish I was good at it because like I see some of my friends do it and I'm like, wow, your nose literally looks amazing. And then I just cannot do it. Powder, I need to set my makeup. I am gonna use the Huda Beauty Banana Powder and I'm just gonna pop this underneath here. I love baking. Do you know when this like first came about, like the whole like baking thing? Because I feel like people never used to do this and there was just a massive craze for it a couple of years ago and now everyone does it. I'm gonna pop some on my chin. My skin used to be really oily, but it's actually not that oily anymore and I quite like it when it goes oily because it gives me a bit of like a natural glow. So I always do my makeup to be very matte and then throughout the day it just kind of gets its like natural shine back which i really like the lighting in the bathroom is driving me insane i promise it does look good eyeshadow i do very very basic eyeshadow so i use the Too faced born this way the natural nudes palette and all i do is take the shade seashell and nude and i just put this all over my lid i used to be the person that would do really extravagant eye makeup and then i just realized that actually more natural makeup suited me but don't get me wrong i still love like looking at like smoky eyes and stuff online and i always watch people do their makeup like wow i wish i could do that but I just feel like it doesn't suit me anymore and I just much prefer the kind of like sleek Kardashian looking sort of glam like every time I get my makeup done I'm like babe just just do the Kardashian glam like that's my that's my thing and then I'm going to take the shade maple and I'm just going to pop this in my outer corner literally just the tiniest bit not a lot at all but it just deepens my crease a little bit so it just makes my Look a, look a little bit more put together and not like I've just shoved on like one shade like I realistically have done. I'm also going to take that same shade and just run it a little bit underneath my eye. Now that I've done, I am going to go in and do a little bit of brown eyeliner. So again, I use the shade, I think it's called Truffle or like Souffle, but it's like scratched off. But it's the darkest brown shade in this palette. And I just take a little flathead brush and I just dab it on there. And I feel like you're not really going to be able to see me do this. But I'm just going to do a tiny little wing with it. I don't like to do anything extravagant. Just a tiny little bit just to kind of give my eye a little bit more shape. By the way, this never goes right the first time. I always have to go in with concealer and like shape it up. So I'll give it kind of rough shape. Um, and then just take one of the flathead brushes with concealer on and just shape it up a little bit. Sometimes this goes like amazing the first try and then sometimes it takes me absolute years. That wasn't bad though. It was quite good for like a first attempt on camera. And then I'm just gonna do the exact same on the other side. That one went way, way, way too high up. God, that's the wrong end of the brush. So I'm just gonna go in and shake that up. Mascara, I am gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes. So I actually put lashes on my outer edge, just because I feel like it just makes my eyes look a little bit more put together. I go through phases where one minute I'll love just wearing mascara and the next I feel really plain without lashes and at the moment I'm going through that stage where I need my lashes. I literally panicked the other day because I got in from a night out and put my lashes somewhere and I put them, like I hate them so good I can't find them. So luckily I had another pair but I've still not come across them so if Drunk Anna could remember where she put them that'd be amazing. Just while I let that mascara dry I am going to go back in and just brush all this powder off and then I'm going to apply some blush. I just mix the two shades from this Morphe palette and just apply it to the apples of 
my cheeks. I love this blush shade. I think it's so nice. And then I'll also just pop some on the end of my nose as well. And then just kind of like lightly brush it up here. I don't know why people do this, but it just, just completes the look. Lashes. I am going to be using the Ardell Demi Wispies, but I cut them so I don't use the whole of the strip lash because lashes just always really irritate my eyes, like in the inner corner. And they always come unstuck and then the glue starts running down my face and I just hate it. So I always cut off the inner corner bit and just use outer corner lashes. I also kind of prefer the look that that gives as well. I get so many uses out of them. Like this is a new pair obviously because I misplaced my other pair, but I get so much use out of these. You're going to see like it doesn't even make the like a lot of difference either, but I just feel like I need to have them. Literally as simple as that. And it's just a little nice outer edge lash that really brings my kind of glam together. And if anybody's wondering what glue I'm using, I'm using the Duo uh, Lash Adhesive. And this is the one that dries clear. I got it from Primark. That is my lashes on. I am now just gonna pop some mascara on. This is the Benefit They're Real. And I have to have bottom lash mascara, like I just have to. So I am gonna put some of these on my bottom lashes and then also just blend the lashes that I just popped on with this mascara as well. I've just got this all under my eye. I cannot see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna have to leave that to dry. So let's just ignore that. I should have just used this little mirror to begin with. When I look up in this lighting, my makeup looks so good. It's just the fact that it's like lit. Like if I do that, can you see any better? Not really, but my makeup does look good, I promise. And then this is my favorite highlighter in the world. This is the Ofra. Look at it, I literally have none left. It's the Ofra one in Opal. And I've had this for so long. Uh, hence why I've literally hit pan and it's about to run out any day. But it's just the perfect shade for my skin. And I've just, oh, I love it so much. I'm gonna have to buy another one. I don't know actually. I think I might have a mini version of this. I always take away with me on holiday, but oh my god, I just love it so much. It just gives me that gorgeous glow. I love it. And then sometimes I do actually add fake freckles. I'm not going to do that this time because sometimes they look really good and sometimes they look really stupid. Like I was filming an ad once um, and I put fake freckles on and everyone was like, oh my god, like is that the mascara speckled down? I'm like, mm, no, that was my attempt at fake freckles. Now that is all of my skin and makeup done. I am in love with it. It looks really good and really glowy today, which I'm ha very happy with. I am going to go in with lipstick. So we've got a high-end version, a drugstore version. I am actually going to use the drugstore version today. This is the Kylie Lip Kit in Candy K. And then this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. But it's really, really good. So I'm just going to apply this onto my lips. I never actually line my lips. Like, I probably should. I feel like it would make my lips look bigger. But I always get asked, like, if you have lip filler, and I'm like, no, I just have a really big bottom lip, but then my top lip isn't as big. So I really could do with overlining my lips, actually. Not, not overlining them, sorry. Just, like, lining them to give them that little bit more structure. But, oh well. This is just what I normally do. This is a really nice colour, though. Like, really nice. I still I do really like using that really light shade that I have. But this is a lot better, I will admit. Like, I will admit, this is so much nicer. And I think that might be my makeup finished. It's so hard to tell in this lighting. Like, look, if I cover that up, look how much better my makeup looks. It looks super glowy. Like, you would actually see what it looks like. And then as soon as I move that, yeah, I love that lighting. But this is the end of my Get Ready With Me. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. It was a little bit of a different video to what I normally do. I feel like I haven't done just a sit down, like talking about beauty video in what feels like years. So it's been really, really nice just to sit here and talk you guys through my makeup. I will put some overlay clips in on what it looks like in natural lighting so you guys can see the finished look and the products how they actually look um yeah i really hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that i will see you guys very very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye